Hi everyone, welcome back. I am virtually and I have a new something something here on the channel for you guys. It is a genetic survival game called Niche. And I think it's pronounced Niche, maybe it's Niche. Um, however you pronounce it, it's a fun, very laxed survival game that I wanted to share with you guys on the channel. I don't know how many episodes we'll do, but we'll definitely take a look at it together. And if you really enjoy it, well, let me know in the comment feed down below if you want to see more episodes of this beautiful, beautiful game. So let's get right into it. We're going to call this world name Haven. And what we're going to do is um, the new patch allows us to name our critters. So this is Eve, I believe, and this is Adam. And let me go through basically who they are and what they are and what they're going to do for us. And then we're going to talk about the world itself. We're going to talk about this cue. So this video might be a little bit longer than a normal episode would be on this channel. But I'm hoping you guys enjoy this game as much as I do. This cue over here basically tells you how old they are, the animal's age. It says this animal is seven days old. Uh, she's an adult. Lifespan reduction by damage, so she's not taken any damage yet. Um, remaining lifetime days is 18 days. So this section right here really tells us the age of the virtual critter. Um, these gems here match the gem status on their chests and you can actually change these gems to different colors if you would like and that sort of helps you keep track of your critters. Uh, animal rank. Important when low on food. Alphas eat first, omegas eat last. Well, isn't that something? I didn't realize they patched this into it. Um, and basically this first cue here tells us sort of the traits that these animals have. And if you notice, some of these animals start off with maybe some imperfect genetics, like our beautiful, beautiful critter over here, Papa Bear Adam, who has uh, a really short dwarfed or crippled paw. That's of no use to us. I'm gonna try to get in here just a little bit closer so you can see that. I love how they just follow you around. Um, so we're gonna try to breed that out of his, um, his pack. I love that they both have stripes. So this is uh, procedurally generated. So um, not every not every pair is gonna be the same. So my Adam and Eve is not gonna be the same as your Adam and Eve. And our island. Um, I don't think it'll be the same. Our island may not be the same as your island. Um, especially not the ones that we actually inevitably end up going to next. So that's that. This cue here <clears throat> lets us know their stats. So Adam has three in speed. He can collect. He's pretty strong dude. <clears throat> oh, must be his antlers. These antlers on his head make him pretty strong. He has a venomous attack as well, which are those beautiful vampire fangs that he owns. And then he also has swimming. It must be that he has a swimmer's tail, which it doesn't look like it allows me to go behind him because he's gonna follow me no matter what I do. But we can look at him in queue in a second. He has medium ears and he has two normal eyesights. And we definitely wanna continue that trait. And this is their DNA panel. So you can see that they have the no paw here, which is of no use to us. Here are his, he has normal eyes and short-sighted eyes. Is in his recessive, so anything that's gray is recessive genes. <gasps> he has the panda pattern. Oh my God. He has a panda pattern. That is so, so cool. Um, he has black and white fur. His antlers are brown and white, which give them that very beautiful beige hue. And he has hemophilia, which is a bad trait, but it's recessive. So that's good. And we want to keep an eye on that. So his says a swimming tail is recessive. So doesn't look, he has a fluffy tail. Doesn't look like he has any swimming traits. So this particular patch actually included a lot of new genetics in our queue. And it also included... Um, swimming which we're not gonna do on this island because on this island you and I are actually gonna work on uh, the berry the collecting trait because that's gonna be of more use to us than having them fish 
at this point in time. We can worry about that when we move islands, okay? And then our girl here, Eve, she has, uh, her traits are pretty similar. She only has two in collecting. Hmm. Well, it's better than Adam. So she has two in collecting and she is not a very strong virtual critter. She also has the big nose. So we want to breed that out of them because the big nose, and we'll go over to this cue in a second and I'll explain that, but the big nose has plus two in smelling but no other effects. So I don't know. Um, we'll look at that in a second. But she has blue eyes and her recessive genes. <gasps> and she has a runner's paw. So we want to definitely look at me keeping these runner paws um, and then eventually moving on to berry collecting paws. And I think they're called nimble paws now. She has the big, the normal body. What does he have? Normal body as well. Oh, he has the big body, which give, makes him stronger. Gotcha. Um, well, we don't necessarily care what type of body they have right now. What we really have to look at to ensure that they're healthy is their immunity genes. This right here, immunity A, immunity B, and having the same symbol twice increases chance to get sick. So we want to make sure that this symbol stays different for all of our critters. Um, I've seen a few YouTube um, playthroughs, and if they do get the same immunity patterns, um, they just get a little, they, they get the common cold a little bit quicker, but um, so their lifespan is shortened a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Um, she has no horns either, so, um, and they have regular legs. All right. All right, so, and over here, um, basically the way the food system works, and I'm gonna have him actually collect for us and breed, we'll have them breed already, um, and I'll have her collect these with all of her turns. Oh, there's nothing else to collect there, is there? So basically what you saw there when you click on your virtual critter, you have the opportunity to breed with them. Um, you see the little heart there? It's read it out because we don't have the opportunity to breed again because if you look at her key over here, she's pregnant. Rest at night on a nest to give birth. So she, um, in our next turn, we will see her new bambino. And the way the food system work is because we have two critters, uh, when we take a turn, in other words, when we make it night and morning again, we will see that two of their food sources will be depleted because there's one piece of food for every critter in the pack is used. So that's why it's really important to collect food and why it's really important for us on this island to have children with nimble paws so that they can pick up berries. And um, let's see if we have it here. Does it look like, it looks like the nimble paws will be unlocked if you see on the right of the screen, uh, when we collect 35 berries, which shouldn't be too terrible to do. But for right now, I wanna make sure that the runner paw is in the 30% in Q. So basically these are our mutations. Um, and there's many mutations. If you guys wanna pause the video as I scroll through this so that you can see all of them, you are welcome to do that. Um, but my main concern is, so when you drag and drop your genes, you have a chance for your babies to have these um, particular mutations. So I definitely want the runner leg. I want the nimble paw. I don't necessarily need the digger paw and I do not want the cripple because if they have the cripple paw, there's really nothing they can do to help the pack. So that's not something that I'm particularly looking forward to, but I do want the normal snout. So my priority is the running leg and the normal snout. I really don't particularly care if they can smell well or not. You know what? I, I think I want instead the, the poison fangs. Yeah, because that's going to give us venom and that's going to give us strength. Um, I'm not too worried about the hemophilia right now. Uh, but this is bad. If they're born with hemophilia, it means that when we run across some bad guys, which isn't too often, how I'll say that and I jinx myself, but um, what it means is if they take any damage, they'll, they'll, 
you know, bleed out a little bit more and reduce their lifespan a little bit um, farther. So, and I really don't care about the swimming legs or anything like that right now. And once we get established, then we can look at cosmetic things like eyes and color of fur and things like that, maybe later on. Um, and this will be something that we'll put into the queue if somebody is narrow, is short-sighted. I was going to say narrow-sighted. Uh, this limits their eyesight and definitely do not want anybody to be blind. Although, if we do have blind critters, we will, we will definitely find a place for them in our pack. We're going to love all of our critters, beautiful or no, uh, and they're all going to potentially be useful. So... Uh, this is the island. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to um, take advantage of this entire expanse. And then we're going to go off into the distance to explore more territory with eight, I believe it's eight, eight of our beautiful and semi-perfect critters that we can breed from Adam and Eve. The other thing that I wanted to show you guys um, is this new feature that they added. Oh, here they are. That's Adam. You can see his fluffy tail and his antlers and his no paw. This no paw before the patch was was just kind of like a little floppy arm. They did add sort of a more useless look to the cripple paw, to the no paw. Um, so that is our Adam, and here are all of his DNA features. And here is Eve. Oh, she is so gorgeous. I love her stripes, and I love 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 their ears and her big nose is so cute all right so i have a feeling that our kid is gonna have a big nose <laughs> that is my prediction so let's without further ado take a look at the baby let's get in here closer the grass isn't gonna let us see the baby is it let's see all right let's without further ado let's just hit this this turn Oh, looks just like mama. She looks just like mama. Let's take a look at her. Oh, there's rustling in the trees back there. A rustling in the trees in the back just simply means that there's either a bad guy or, or a rabbit. You'll find virtual rabbits in here. Or maybe a wanderer. A wanderer, which could be a good or a bad thing. Most time they're good because they bring different genetics into the clan. So, um, oh, she was born with a no paw, poor baby. But she has that swimmer tail. Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. Rana. Rana, you are gorgeous. Um, if you guys want to name these precious critters, these beautiful pets, let me know in the comment feed down below if you feel like Rana should have a different name. And if she, if you feel she does, let me know what you think it should be. So Rana has the medium ears and she has normal eyes, which is good. She has the poisonous fangs and her recessive, but she was born with a big nose and a no paw. But she has the runner's legs, so she's speedy. Um, she only has one in collecting, which isn't going to help us too terribly much. Um, but she has no hemophilia, which is great. She does have that swimming tail, which may come in handy um, in her genetics down the line. But for right now, it really doesn't make any difference at all. And she has black eyes. But look at the panda. Her panda's back there. And she has immunity A and F. This guy has immunity F and G, A and B. All right, this is good. So what I'm going to have... Um, our girl in the background do. You know what's weird is they only have the three gems. That's interesting. And you are going to pick food for us because now we have three pieces of food that are consumed daily. And I'm going to have her check that out. Oh, yep, it's a bunny mound. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. That's going to provide food for us, but it could be a bad thing because what bunnies do is that bunnies like to steal our berries, which is no bueno. All right, let's take a turn and see what tomorrow brings. 
So here is our little baby girl. I'm gonna sit her actually, I'm gonna sit her on this mound and have her take care of the bunnies for us. Although I'm kind of scared because if there's any bad guys in the surrounding, she could potentially um, get hurt. So we'll keep an eye on that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move her here, have her collect her berries, have her have another baby, and I'm gonna have him collect the last berry over here. And I want him to check the surroundings for us because we need to start looking all over the place. We need to expand this territory for our family. All right, let's take a turn and see what our new baby looks like. <gasps> Holy cats, look how beautiful this baby is. <gasps> what new genetics did we get? Orange eyes. Oh my goodness, Tanu, Tanu, you are beautiful, Tanu. <gasps> he doesn't have the crippled paw and he is gorgeous. Look at those orange, orange, blood orange. Is blood orange a thing? <laughs> Just bright orange is what I'm trying to say, eyes. Um, the visual of the virtual critter is uh, how they would look when they become adults because you can see the three gems as they grow. So when they're infants, newborns, they have no gems. Um, and then you will see that um, they get two gems when they're teens um, and then they have the three gems when they're adults. So it has a double runner paw. It still, does still have a big nose, which is fine because it makes them look so, so beautiful. Still does have that short-sided, but look, the hemophilia is being breeded out. Oh, it's a panda pattern! Oh, I love, I love Tanu. If you guys feel like Tanu should have a different name, let me know in the comment feed down below, and we will definitely change the name um, in an upcoming video. Oh, how beautiful. Tanu, you are gorgeous, my friend. You really, really are. So I'm gonna move him here for right now. I'm gonna have him look there and I'm gonna have him pick berries for us. I'm gonna have this little beauty. Um, this little beauty cannot collect. She cannot collect. So she's gonna have to be a scout for us. And the mama bear is gonna have to come over here and collect for us because Oh my goodness, she can't collect. So, um, Tanu and Rana. Rana's gonna be our scout, and Tanu is gonna be our berry collector. Oh my goodness, he's just so cute. I want those blades of grass gone so I can zoom in on our little guys. Oh, so beautiful. Sorry, I'm gushing. I will take a turn and we will see what what new things behold us. Our our girl here, Rana, should become a teen in our next turn, so let's take a look. Yep, there she is, she's a teen. And our boy, Tanu, can now stand by this berry bush. Ooh, I don't want him in there. Oh, I'm gonna have them breed, and then I'm gonna have Dad stand over here and open that tile for us, and open that one too, so that, um, Tanu, we need to save him. And then we'll bring Eve back to the nest so she can give birth our next turn. Um, so nobody can pick more berries. So we, we're missing some berries here, but we're growing our pack so that we won't ever miss out on a berry. I might have to move her out too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her scout here and move here so that the bunnies can come out and they can kill the bunnies so we can have more meat every bunny dead i um, know it sounds terrible but it it feeds the pack it gives us three pieces of food so that's always always good he has b and f she has a and f so they're definitely siblings let's take a turn all right this looks a lot like rana Re resume resume 
That is, oh, but look, she has the poison fangs. Is it a she? <gasps> she has the poison fangs and she has the swimmer's tail and she has the pan and recessive and she has normal eyes, still has some of those negatives in the recessive, but we're not gonna worry about those right now. Let's take a look at her, shall we? Resume, that name. We definitely has, have to change Resume's name. That seems silly. So Resume, um, all of her dominant genes are good. So that's good. We just have to worry about these uh, bad recessive ones like the hemophilia and the short-sighted on her children. So we really have to keep an eye on her. She's gonna be, she's gonna be great. What is her collecting? Her collecting is two. I am wondering though, I am wondering, can you pick these for me? Thank you, honey. Thank you so much. He is so darling. I'm gonna have him, oops, he cleared the grass behind him and not the grass he's standing on. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll move this beauty over here and have her have her peek into her where her dad is standing. And you know what I did notice? I didn't notice that this grass, if I zoom out, that bush is standing um, within a piece of blade of grass. So we're gonna have to take care of that. So my beauty, you're gonna have to go here. Why don't you take a peek at that, open that up for us, and then pick the last berries. There we go. So look how beautiful, oh my God, this panda pattern is just killing me. It's so cute. It is so cute. So I'll have them breed in the next turn. I'll probably have them have like uh, four or five um, children. And then we'll really spend the rest of their life, um, you know, opening up the grass and finding more berry bushes because we need them. We really do. 28 pieces of food. We have five members to the pack. Mm, we really need to find more berry bushes uh, ASAP. So let's do that. Look at those poison fangs. Oh, he's so cute. He's not very strong though, and that's potentially because he doesn't have any antlers, but if we can get a little guy with the poison fangs and the antlers, that will be such a huge blessing. So let's have him move out of there. Let's have our guy Tanu pick the berries. Um, I'm gonna have our girl here breed Unomas time. She still has she still has one gem that we can use and have her move. And then our guy in the back here can continue to explore for us. And so will Rana. Rana's gonna explore for us as well. So we got quite a bit open. Hopefully those bunnies will start coming out. When it rains, these berry bushes will um, fill up all over again, so that's a good thing. And that is all for this turn. Let's see what happens next. Ooh, she's gonna need a mate soon, Rana. Rana's gonna need a mate. And speaking of rain, I feel like we called this rain, didn't we? Oh, this is moving. This could be a bad guy or this could be a wanderer. Um, let's take a look at this beauty down here. I just can't get over Tanu. But this little beauty, Lalor. Lalor, what do you look like, honey? Lalar. Oh, how do you pronounce it? Lalar? Lalari? Oh, she was born with a no paw. Other than that, she would have been perfect with her ram horns and her swimmer's tail. I don't know, I feel like we should just continue <laughs> having kids with these two. They have the most beautiful kids. The only negative trait she has is the no paw because everything else is absolutely perfect. So I am gonna say, hmm, this little guy, I'm gonna have, oh! Oh, this guy looks special and unfortunate. 
<laughs> Let's see what his jeans look like. So, so he brings in a new immunity I, but he has B just like what's his name? R Ranuku? Just like um, Eve here, he has the B, right? Because Eve has the A and B. Um, I don't know. He can potentially A and F, B and I. He could potentially be a mate for our girl Rana. I know Ranoku looks super unfortunate with the scraggly jaw and the wonky eyes and ears but he has a lot of stuff that we can use like he is he looks like he's strong because he has that claw super strong we need more strength oh and he has nimble fingers oh yes oh yes yes he has traits that we absolutely need so what happens is when you click on a tile you get options dependent on what is being hosted on that tile. In this case, Renoko is um, sort of visiting that tile. So we have the opportunity to either um, befriend him and invite him to join our tribe, which we will, or we can attack him, which we won't. We only attack those wandering beasts and things like that that we don't want, you know, in our vicinity or uh, maybe potential danger or harm to our pack. So this guy is going to be, um, this guy is going to be part of our tribe and he's actually going to be mating with Rana. Um, so that's going to be good. And in the meantime, I'm going to have this beautiful creature pick berries for us because it's raining. And then I'm going to have Eve pick berries for us as well. There are seven people in our tribe, so we have to find more berry bushes. And what I'm going to have him do, I want to have him find some more berry bushes for us. Uh, and they could potentially go over to one of these nests. Uh, yeah, I'm going to potentially do that. Make a path over to um, that nest and I'm gonna have her oh here's a berry bush yay she oh she can pick berries for us too see that nimble finger that nimble finger will allow us to pick more berries this is gonna be absolute mundo wonderful so they're gonna go off in the distance and have a family and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna change their gems to remind us of the fact that they are branching out into a family of their own. All right. So I think I've used up everybody except this beautiful little guy, which I want to stand here because he's going to open up that berry bush for us. Ah, oh, so lovely. So lovely. All right. Next turn. Oh, beautiful baby is sick. Is the baby sick? Oh, Eve is sick. Oh, Eve. Oh, she's so precious. I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her become a scout as well. Um, But for now, I'm gonna have her stand there. Look how gorgeous these two are with their panda patterns. I just can't, they're so cute. Um, And I'm gonna have them potentially, I'm gonna have, this beautiful dude open that up and move there i'm gonna have e uh rana pick some berries for us and actually i wanna i wanna have him take advantage of the the berry paw here see how he picks two at one go Oh my god. Oh look and there's another berry bush. So what we might do is we might go to this camp first because we have two berry bushes here and that's going to come in handy. Um, I might have I might have these two breed one more time. Have them pick berries. Have her 
pick berries, have them pick berries. Yes. And she can probably, no, she can't do anything else for us because if I move her out of the nest, she won't give birth the next turn. But I think she has the common cold. This animal is sick. Oh, I'm sorry, Eve. Maybe we've been breeding her too much. <laughs> Maybe that's not any good for her. All right. Well, we'll see how this works out. Oh, that berry bush looks so beautiful. Or maybe just position them on the berry bush. We definitely need scouts, though. We need to see what else is rustling in these trees. So um, after this baby, I think we're going to stop with the baby making with Adam and Eve on this turn. Oh, oh, the berry paw. I definitely, definitely want berry paws. So as you could see, I switched out the nimble fingers. It was called Berry Paw before, so I apologize for switching up the names on you. But Nimble Fingers do the collecting and the cracking, and that's what I want this pack to focus on. For, for sure. Next turn. Oh, this beautiful guy needs a mate, and Eve is getting sicker and sicker. <gasps> what beauty do we have here? Oh, she was born with a no paw. Oh, these no pod creatures. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these two work on, I'm gonna have her open this up, open that up. I'm gonna have this guy. Uh, can I not click on him? He can't go very far, can he? I'm actually gonna have them breed. So when they get to their nut, oh, in another berry bush, this is wonderful. So I'm gonna have this guy stationed here so that he can collect these berries. I'm gonna have her collect from this tree. I'm gonna have him over here and he can actually collect from that tree. And look, there's already a path over there by the time we're finished here. Um, I, may put, I may put this precious one right over here so she can collect from that berry bush. And let's take a look at this precious one, Isco. Isco. Oh, that no paw makes me so sad. But look how beautiful she is. Wouldn't it have been something if she would have been born with those blue eyes? Oh, this crew. Even though there's some imperfections in this crew, except for Tanu, he is my absolute, absolute favorite. Yes, Tanu is the only one that wasn't born. Oh, Tanu and Resume. Tanu and Resume. They are my two favorites. Um, even though they were born with some imperfections, and I have a feeling that Rana's crew is going to be born with a ton of imperfections. She's going to have the really fugly looking kids. Perhaps, perhaps not. Perhaps her genetics will win out. But um, for the time being, I'm going to have... I'm going to have him, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to have her stand by this berry bush and collect for us there. And I'm going to have him collect for us here because our, our group is getting super, super big and we just cannot afford not to collect berries. So can you take a look at that for me? Thank you. Yes, we're building a bridge to our next pack. We absolutely are. So I think what I'm going to do, because it's been quite a long time, is I'm going to leave it at this. If you guys really like the thought of this game on this channel, I hope you do. But if you do, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see another episode, some more episodes of Niche and our um, Haven pack and see what our girl Rana and Ronuku um, have for babies. Uh, let me know in the comment feed down below. I really love this game. It's super relaxing. It's really neat to see the beautiful babies that are born and the not so beautiful ones as well, as I can pretty much guarantee with Ronuku's color. <laughs> But he has the genetics that we need and he's bringing some special traits that we need to see in this group as well. So 
Hey, you guys, I appreciate you so, so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you super soon. Bye!